In this video, we're going to compare the Samsung T7 to the T7 Shield. These are great portable SSDs that offer very close speeds, specs, and performance, but there are a few minor differences. So in this video, we're going to help you decide if you should buy the T7 or the T7 Shield. So I'm using a Mac with both of these. I've done speed tests with them both formatted in a variety of ways. On the T7, I typically get speeds of about 840 megabytes a second on both the read and the write. On the T7 Shield, I'm getting speeds of about 860 on the write side and 800 on the read side. Side. So if you look at both of the drives side by side, they're both very lightweight. The T7 weighs just a little bit less than the T7 Shield, about one ounce less. And they're both very slim and compact. Although if you look at them, you will notice the T7 is a little bit thinner because the T7 Shield actually has this rubber coating on the outside of it. So the T7 is rated for a drop of two meters and the T7 Shield is rated to survive a drop of up to three meters. And there's also no IP rating on the T7, but the T7 Shield has an IP rating of IP60 for water and dust resistance. Both drives also include a three-year warranty, and they both also include both a USB-C to USB-C and a USB-C to USB-A cord. You'll also notice on the side of them, both of them have a single USB-C port, and they also both have a light on them that blinks whenever file transfers or the disk is being accessed. So you get the same warranty with both of these and very similar performance, and the size of them is gonna be very similar in terms of how much space it'll take up in your backpack or on your desk. So these drives are essentially just about the same thing, but the T7 Shield does give you that higher drop rating, and it also gives you the dust and waterproof performance as well. The T7 comes in 500 gigabytes, one, two, and four terabytes, and there's a couple different colors you can get it in. The T7 Shield is available in one, two, and four terabyte. Whenever you compare the prices of these, the T7 Shield is typically just a little bit more expensive per terabyte than the T7 is. So which one should you buy? If you need the absolute smallest drive, maybe you're using it rigged on a camera on an iPhone, get the T7 because it is gonna be just a little bit slimmer and take up a little less space. There's also certain SSD clamps that this is gonna work a little bit better on. But if you don't mind the little bit of extra thickness and width on it, I would definitely recommend most people should just buy the T7 Shield because this is gonna give you better reliability in the long run, having the higher drop rating and also having the IP rating. Again, the T7 does not have any IP protection from water, dust, or sand, but the T7 Shield does give you that IP65 rating. So to me, that's worth the upgrade of getting the T7 Shield over the T7. If you have any other questions on either of these SSDs, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. If you want to buy either of these, I do have links to buy in the description below.